All right, next topic. Next topic. Teenage pregnancy. <laughs> That's a good topic to go into. So this is a, t a story about how I accidentally got a girl pregnant in high school, <laughs> okay? And no, and no, she did not abort, okay? But you gotta stick to the end of the story to figure out what happened. I, you'll see, you'll see if I'm a dad or not. <laughs> so let's take it all the way back to my last year of high school, okay? I'm in grade 12, I'm in these law classes, I'm in the like history classes, I'm doing like a high level, like the highest level academic, I'm getting ready for university, all this kind of stuff. And I have a group of like 10 or 12 good, 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 good friends, okay? And of these group of like 10 or 12 really, 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 really good friends, um, we start planning an end of the year camping trip, okay? It's when school ends and uh, they're all gonna come to my house. We're gonna get into boats. And we're gonna travel up the uh, river and we are going to um, have a camping trip up at the river. No parents, booze. We're gonna enjoy ourselves at the rapids. We're gonna go swimming. We're gonna have a good time, okay? At least that was the plan, okay? Of the 10 of us, only um, six of us could actually show up. Six, <laughs> six, six of us could show up, okay? So they all come to our house, okay? And three of them don't, two of them don't matter, okay? Two of them are just friends that were friends to the things. But the three of them and myself matter, okay? There was this boy, we're gonna call him John. He's the jealous one, okay? We're gonna call the next one Noah and the next one Joanne, okay? So Noah and Joanne are a couple. Okay, and Noah and Joanne are very a woe for each other. Like very, very, very a woe for each other. But their parents are very, very hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like very, 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 very Christian. Okay, very, very Christian. And in fact, one of them is living with their grandparents, the other one is living with their parents, okay? And the grandparents hate the parents, and the parents hate the grandparents, okay? It is a really fucked up situation, okay? And then there's me, and I'm cute, and I'm innocent, and I, I've ne I never drink the alcohols, and I've, I've never done the naughties, and even though, even though it's grade 12, I've, I've never drank the alcohol or done the naughties, and I, I am uh, planning a very, very, very wholesome, very, very Christian, um, like, three-day uh, camping trip, um, with my friends from high school, and totally nothing bad's gonna happen. No, no, nothing at all. It's gonna be very wholesome. We're we're high school kids, right? Nothing could possibly go wrong. No, no, it's gonna be great. <laughs> so we all get into the boat, stuff like that. So we all get into the property, and uh, the grandfather comes over to me. He's just like, "Hey, there ain't gonna be no sex on this trip, will there?" I'm like, "No, sir." None at all. I am very innocent and noble. And he's like, there better not be. And I'm like, okay, well, I wasn't intending on it, so whatever. And then my dad comes over to me and he's just like, hey, son, go and enjoy as much sex as you want. And I'm like, I wasn't planning on it. What? <laughs> okay, thanks, dad. I appreciate the thumbs up. And then, uh, um, what you call it? Joanna comes over to me and she's like, hey, Jay, um, Thank you so much for planning this trip. I I really appreciate it. Oh well. Now I'm like, oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I'm glad you enjoy the camping trip that we got steaks. Yeah, we got steaks. That, that's definitely what we're planning. We got steaks and we got sausages and we have buns and we have uh we have hidden alcohol because like I got alcohol because like my parents are super cool like that. So let's go. <laughs> so we started boating up uh, um the river and it takes us about six hours to boat to the camping spot. This area, there's no way it's gonna bother us. It is a hidden rapid area, nice camp spot. I've camped there before. We set up the tents and as we're traveling up, with the couple's in one boat with the uh, um, one of the other friends and then John is in this boat with another one of the friends with me, right? And John's just like, <laughs> hey, I'm Jake. I'm like, yeah, what's up? He's like, oh my God, is it Joanna hot? Like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, she, she's a friend of mine. Oh my God, I would love to like have sex with her, oh my God. I am the I am the best at the sexes. Like, you don't even know I'm so good at the sex. 
And I'm like, I, I guess, sure, whatever. <laughs> He's just like, um, do you think Joanna would do it with me this trip? I'm like, probably not the guy. She's got a tent with her boyfriend. Like, probably not. Like, that, that's kind of weird, bro. He's like, I think, I think she's kind of slutty. I think she's doing it. I'm like, okay, you get to have your own tent. I had an extra tent. You now get to have your own tent. <laughs> like you, you get to have your own tent. You got creepy quick. So we get up into uh, the rapids, stuff like that. <laughs> what the fuck did I just join you? See in a second. So we get up to the campsite. We set up the tents and stuff like that. And everything's going good. We go swimming. We uh, cook some sausages. We have uh, all, all, all this kind of fun stuff like that. And then the night uh, comes and Joanna and I'm going to call it. I forget what the name I gave the guy. Joanna and Mark. We're going to just call him Mark. Joanna and Mark uh, go uh, over to their tent and they have fun. Okay? And Don, the, the whole time, is like is like staring at their tent. And he's like, Oh, oh I wonder when they're going to invite me. Oh, I'm a teenager and this is, this is what I think is socially acceptable. And like, I literally had to like grab his ass and pull him to the rapids to go swimming to get him away from them because he kept going over to the tent and like kept on like trying to see through the tent or like listen at the tent and just being an overall creepy fuck okay so like i take him over we go swimming the rapids i almost drown him accidentally but that's a different story but like he's fine he's fine he's fine fine all right so uh, what do you call it? i get him exhausted so he goes to bed and then um uh, what do you call it? mark comes out and he's just like what hey uh, hey there jick i'm like oh hi mark <laughs> he's just like so um joanna's in there i'm like okay and she's waiting for you and i'm like nanny the fuck nanny <laughs> and he's just like yes uh she's waiting in there for you she's very thankful that you kept um john away do you want to go have fun and i'm like oh um well i'm innocent and pure and um respectful of your relationship and like um no i'm good <laughs> and, and he's just like are you sure she's already warmed up and i'm like yeah 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 i'm sure i'm sure yeah i'm good and he's just like all right well if you want to go for it later kind of thing and i'm like uh, okay Hey, yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. So he goes back in, I go to the bed, some of that. Next day comes around, Joanna comes on over and she's like being all like nice and cuddling and all this kind of stuff. Long story short, that's all that happened that weekend. We had a wonderful like camping weekend, stuff like that. And all that kind of stuff goes down, right? So we get back Emotional to uh, the damage. house, right? And jo uh, Mark and Joanna had been fucking like rabbits the, in the entire camping time, right? We get back um, to uh, the house. Everybody parts ways. One month later, Joanna's pregnant. <laughs> she is preco. And it's all my fault. Because I brought them out to the woods. <laughs> she is prego, And she kept the babies. <laughs> and they broke up. And they had and, like huge, huge, huge drama between each other. Because they were totally terrible for each other. And I haven't heard from them in like maybe 10 15 years but yeah 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 <laughs> they definitely got prego that trip <laughs> oh yeah yeah so after they had uh, their one baby which they called angel because she was their angel because you know teenage pregnant like babies yeah they had to have like a high energy high emotional name they they then had another one and then they broke up while they were pregnant with the other one and there's just alimony and there's a whole bunch of fighting <laughs> definitely planning on blaming you exactly so like as an innocent, like, I was super innocent in grade 12. You have no idea how innocent I was in grade 12, okay? Like, I was very, very pure, okay? Like, I, the thing that stopped me from doing anything was that she had a boyfriend. And because she had a boyfriend, I completely respected the relationship. Even if she and that, him were open to me, like, engaging with it, I would not engage because I was super respectful of the relationship. So, actually, actually, these kids, oh, no. These kids are old enough to watch this video on YouTube. Oh no, <laughs> I just realized that. And they might, oh no. <laughs> oh, this might be bad. I should forward this video to them. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. That's how accidental teenage pregnancy happened in my high school. <laughs>
<laughs> that I cause. That's how I cause accidental teenage pregnancy. <laughs> oh no, indeed, Jake. Yeah, oh no. Jake, what do you think of the show Caillou? Ah, it was a kid's show when I was uh, older, like a teenager. Mm -hmm.